Here's the thing, Tom can't take direction. Tommy Mottola wanted to manage us, and Tom said no. We went up, and Hall and Oates, Hall, John Hall loved the band, Tommy loved the band. Again, we'd, we'd be, you know, but Tom said no. Why? Because Tom, Tommy would have made him work. Tom hates work. So he's his own demise. The trouble is, he was in charge of all of our revenues. You know, as, as we were loyal to the band and had to put up with him. And I said, why are you turning this down? And he says, I think he's, I think he's connected. And I thought to myself, of course he's connected. Who's interested in promoting the, a band of young, good-looking boys? <laughs> Mobsters? Or gay men? Or, you know, I don't know what. <laughs> I mean, you, you know, but... We've got the best co-producer who really wasn't a producer yet. One of the world's greatest engineers, bar none. And, um, and that's that. You know? We weren't going to, nobody was going to shape us. Nobody was going to change us. Nobody was going to tell us zip. We knew what we were. We knew what we wanted. We knew what we were going to do. Here's what an interesting thing Tom doesn't remember. We got to the studio at 2 o'clock, which is our start time. No Andy. No Andy till 4.30. Andy comes in and he says, you know, uh, I won't try to mimic his accent, but, you know, He's a rock and roll child. And he says, I'm sorry I'm late, but, you know, I was here last night going over stuff, and I set the drums up, and um, would you like to hear them? And we said, well, who played them? And he said, I did. I hit play, I ran out, I played, and then they came back, you know. And he put it on, it sounded just like John Bonham, I swear to God. I mean, it had that every bit of power and all of that. And Tom said, no, 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 no. We don't want big drums. We want little drums. You know, this is a guitar record. And Andy said, but that's my trademark. What the hell did you bring me here for? And he was ready to leave. And I was saying, Andy, you've recorded the greatest guitarist on earth. That's why we hired you. And he's, he went out in the hall and he talked to Tom and he came back in and, um, you know, and, and he kept going on about, like, you want, you want a bad sounding record? What is this, a New York thing? You want to sound like the Velvets? I mean, uh, you know, it's like... But he was an astonishing engineer. And, uh, you know... was a good choice.